will depend. Sometimes you'll find they start a little bit earlier, around eight months, but generally a year old is what, what in my experience, what they like to start doing. So as, at the, as they get to about a year old, they're starting to venture out with the pack and they're actually starting to contribute to finding carcasses and calling the others in. They won't be able to compete with lions or even some of the bigger hyenas at that stage, but they still will able to produce at least a little bit of help and they will be able to locate carcasses and they'll be able to at least sort of come try and help out and, and, and provide some sort of um, distribution of the clan and, and keep the clan's movements up to date and kind of move around and find food for them. So it's a clever system and, and they even when they're smaller at least starting to contribute in some way. Well done Gwen. I like your new den. It's very pretty. It's the first time here at Aubrey's den site and so I'm glad that we didn't go around to the fire break and follow the males that way because we would have completely missed your den site. Look at the little ones, how curious they are. Are you wondering what we're all about? But you've seen us. Oops, there goes one over the top of mom. Roshni is saying the little ones are starting to grow up and develop iconic spots. They are, aren't they? They're starting to get little spots forming. There's one that's slightly lighter than the other one. So the one closest to us is the darker of the two. And they are starting to get small little spots. Now, in terms of the sexes of these hyenas, I haven't spent enough time with them to know yet. But look, they are also getting a lot braver. Remember at the Gallagher Shortcut Den, they were a bit nervous of us. But look, they're starting to come out. They're coming to explore. Come say hello. Everybody wants to see you. Yes, there we go. How cute is this? You can't tell me a baby hyena is not cute or a hyena cub is not cute. They are some of the cutest animals we have out here. They're like little teddy bears that come out and they've got these big ears and this curious face and naughty kind of look about them. I really do have a lot of time for young hyenas and I remember when guiding it was something that I always tried to do is to try and take guests to hyena dens just to try and educate them and to try and get people to to show you them that, that that hyenas are not these fierce horrible animals that steal everybody's food and that they're disgusting in no way are they like that they are actually really sweet cute animals and the den site shows the softer side of them and it's a great place to bring people to try and break this misconception that hyenas are horrible animals it's a place where people can see that there is the softer side and that there is some cuteness in them i know when they get older and when they look like when that they're probably not the prettiest of animals out here there's some prettier adult animals for sure but at the end of the day at least there we go you see it's pasting look do you see we we're talking about pasting earlier and this little one is already doing it so that's how they paste is to be able to do it now it's got its genitals out which will help us be able to try and see if we can sex it it looks to me like two females just from the genitals that i've seen of both of them but i might be wrong very difficult at this stage now you might be wondering why i would say genitals of a female that look like a male's genitals well females have pseudo penises so they do have it but the way to check is that the female has a straight sort of pseudo penis whereas the male will have a little sort of swollen tip to it or a, or a bulbous tip and that's how you can sex them when they're young it's very difficult though when they're running around like this and especially the light has gotten all of a sudden has all but disappeared it's gotten really dark so tough to say but maybe some of the others who maybe got some screenshots can confirm at least what the sexes are but to me they look like two little females is what i can see i might be completely wrong but it does look like it Michael, you're asking if predators will ever scent mark over other predators scent mark. Um, yes, I have seen it. I've seen hyenas, funnily enough, scent mark over um, the scat of lions and leopard. Um, I've seen lions also scent mark over, over leopard uh, scat as well. But, um, oh no, don't bite your own genitals. Naughty. Not that one, the other one. Although that one might be a little male now that I see it. But you can see sometimes it gets a bit interested in its own genitals and, well, it becomes a chew toy at a young age which is not ideal no leave it alone it's not for chewing the youth of today um so it does happen from time to time that the young ones will uh, i mean that the predators will send mark over each other's markings but it's it's not that common you, you don't see it all the time there we go running back to mom you're still not quite 100 percent sure about us he came and kind of looked and then decided nope and now it's climbing are you a mountaineering hyena? Yes, I want to get higher to watch all of you. It's now going up the mound further. 
so cute. Oh no, not you too now. You learning bad habits from your sibling. Zeus, you're asking if hyenas will reuse a den that they once abandoned. Most certainly. This den was not active at all prior to our knowledge at that, well, not active recently, should I say. It's, it is one of the prominent dens that they've had over the years, and it's just the first time since I've been at Safari Live that this den has been active. But you saw as we were driving in, there was a prominent two-track. There is a two-track around this den. So these hyenas um, have been here and before and and Gwen has probably denned here before and that's why she's come here and brought the little ones or the other den probably was getting a little bit on the flea ridden side and so she's brought them this side into a new den and is using it but it is a den that she would have maybe used for her previous litters and her young ones so it is very possible and very common for hyenas to reuse dens especially if it's been a successful place that they've raised cubs then they use it very regularly to try and kind of um well they know that it's a safe place and then they will use it again so not surprising at all they wait a little bit of time for the fleas to depart and for it to clean itself out a little bit and then they'll come back and reuse it Chuckleberry, you're asking if the little ones go back into the den when it starts raining. Well, Chuckleberry, I mean, it's, it's not raining hard now. There's a little few drops that are coming over, so it's at least moving off. But no, you can see they're quite wet, so their fur is quite matted, so they've been running around in the rain. As long as mom's around, they don't actually mind the rain too much, unless it gets really cold and, and it starts to hammer down. If we start to get heavy, heavy drops raining down on us, and, and it's really very heavy, and, and then you'll find that they go into the den site and get out of it. But a little light rain like we're having now, not at all. There's more fun. You know kids. Kids love to play around in water, and so these guys are not in any way opposed to being out in a few drops of rain. In fact, this will be a new experience for them. They will never have experienced rain before. They won't know what it is, and it will be curious. And you can see they've actually got quite a bit of energy this morning. They're bouncing around all over. Lots of little games are being played. Yes, hello. Now you can see it's sniffing us and wants to come and investigate. They're curious. They want to see who are we and why are we here. And the more we sit here, the more curious they're going to get and the more they're going to start coming closer. Hello. You are very brave. Look how it's smelling. Now this little thing is trying to work out what is this big vehicle here. I don't recognize this, but mom is not in any way reacting. So let me go check it out and I'm not sure back to mom I go just for reassurance. So that's how they do it. And then slowly but surely they build up the courage to come closer and closer and closer. And eventually they will be in a situation where they end up right next to the car and they'll become a bit like in Tima in that they'll sniff around and sniff the tires and they'll sniff at the feet of our, well at our feet on the Land Rover and they won't really be too concerned about us. So it takes a bit of time and a bit of courage but you can see it's already happening that they're starting to get more and more curious about their environment. Very cool. Look at that now. King of the castle on mom. So if the termite mound isn't good enough, we now walk around on mom. And you can see Gwen is thinking, what are you doing? Why are you on top of me? But it's not just myself and Taylor out this morning. I believe Miss Patterson is out and is about bumbling in the Mara.